the subway will take you anywhere in the city. Even to ancient Egypt. Thanks to the museum. This looks great. It looks exactly like the real thing. See? Oh, that? It's a hawk. It warns people that this is the pharaoh's barge. Ah, my history teacher is gonna love it. At least I hope she'll love it. I really need an A. There's only one thing left to do. See if it floats. I guess I could try it out in the bathtub. But in ancient Egypt, boats had to stand up to storms and, and rough seas and, and crocodiles. The bathtub probably didn't have any crocodiles. <laughs> but Endless Park did. Statues of crocodiles, that is. Good thinking, George. This is the perfect place to try out my boat. <laughs> Relax. I'm in fifth grade. I'm prepared. Oh, man, this is great. I can see if my boat holds up in bad weather. She takes a dripping and keeps on, uh, floating. Yeah. My history teacher's gonna be so impressed. I mean, I actually did my homework. I need an A to pass the class. George was sure Steve would get an A. His homework floated really well. Unfortunately, it was floating away. Maybe George could make the boat move towards him. Good thinking. We can make another wave with this rock, and the splash will send it back to shore. Ugh. I killed my homework. <laughs> it's unsinkable. I should get an A+. Plus. <laughs> Catch it! Whoa. Oh, look at it take those rapids! I am a master barge builder! <laughs> oh, yeah, the boat! I'll probably get an A++ if I can ever catch it! George, we'll cut it off at the pass. But we need something to catch it with. Let's use this. Help me out, will you? Oh, right. Uh-oh. George, it's getting away! History homework on the loose. I got it! Steve's boat was a goner. Or it would have been if the drain had been draining. But it wasn't. Until someone cleaned it. Kid, you can't go down there. In spring, good gardeners can't wait to get things growing. <laughs> Need any more help? Okay, 
I have to go help Professor Wiseman design a new terrarium. Bye, George. George had his seed system set. First, he dug a hole. Then he planted some seeds. Ah. Then he covered the hole. Ah. Compass had a seed system, too. But he didn't plant seeds. He ate them. He thought it was awfully nice of George to put out a pigeon buffet. thought this restaurant had weird rules. Maybe they weren't supposed to eat the seeds until George was finished. supposed to eat while George was around. George wished there were two of him. And then he remembered. Farmer Rankins protected his garden from the birds with a scarecrow. So George decided to make a scarecrow too. Maybe the birds were only scared away when something was moving. <laughs> that was it. But how could he get it to move? He also needed more seeds. Seeds were easy. Making a scarecrow move was hard. I heard a guy named Quixote opened a new bakery up ahead. Hungry? It was the biggest pinwheel George had ever seen. Pretty neat, huh? It's a windmill. Yup, <laughs> it grinds my grain for me. Let me show you how it works. When the wind blows, it pushes the sails. Just like wind pushes a sailboat along the water. But since sails are attached to the mill, instead of moving forward, they spin around. In the city, all kinds of things make music in the spring. Birds. Bees. Bands and a certain monkey named George. Oh, thanks. It was for the band. 
<laughs> uh, hi, guys. Gotta run. It's Mother's Day. <laughs> We're running to get Aunt Margaret a card. See ya. We forgot about Mother's Day. Do you want to buy a card, too? Yes. But Mommy does so much for us. I wish we could do something more for her. <laughs> a party! That's a great idea! Oh, Poppy, could we? Oh, yes! Let's give Mommy a party! We can make all her favorite foods. Okay. But Mommy will see us cooking, and then she'll want to do the cooking, and then it won't be Mommy's party at all. We should cook and have the party at someone else's house. <laughs> Oh, great idea, George. Let's do it at our place. Yes, then it will be a surprise. That is very nice of you. Thank you. Come on, let's get moving. But while we are cooking, Mommy will wonder where we are. So Poppy should say we are on a play date with George and for her to come get us at 5 o'clock. But we may not be ready at 5. So Poppy should take Mommy for a walk on an avenue. And then, when we're ready, we will signal from the window like this. <laughs> and then she should come up, and then we'll yell surprise. Wow. Only now, because there's no time, we should decorate while you go shopping. OK. <laughs> I'm always thinking. Mommy is going to be so surprised. <gasps> George. Huh? We should make a piñata. George had popped piñatas before, but he'd never built one. This was going to be fun. I once helped my uncle make one. I think I remember how. First, you blow up a balloon. Second, you mix glue and water. Then you dip strips of newspaper in it to make paper mache, like this. Ooh. Ah. Then you cover the balloon with the paper mache. Ah, yeah. We have to make a donkey piñata because that's the only kind I know how to make. <laughs> Avocados. Habanero chiles, onions, eggs, sugar, frijoles negros, queso, tomatoes. We're done. Oh, hot diggity. Plenty of time to spare. Maybe now our piñata is dry enough to decorate. Ugh. Ah. I forgot. It takes a long time for paper mache to dry. Sometimes days. Ah! Ooh! Ah! If the piñata isn't dry when we hang it, it will just fall apart. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Maybe there was another way to make a piñata. It had to be something you could put treats in and be made of paper that could burst open with a stick. <gasps> doesn't look much like a piñata. <laughs> George's friend Allie really flipped for flips, even when she wasn't doing the flipping. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> the annual gymnastic tournament was right up Allie's alley. Next year, that's gonna be me. <gasps> Here comes another one. The Gymtastic Tournament was for gymnasts of all ages. There were girl gymnasts and boy gymnasts. And a bug gymnast? 
<laughs> Next up is that bundle of dynamite. George? Uh, uh, on the floor, Matt. <laughs> well, uh, I mean the balance beam. Oh. Uh, well, I, I guess I mean the uneven parallel bars. Or do I? Uh, I mean George on the the rings uh, there. Uh, I give up. He didn't mean to disrupt things. You are a natural born gymnast. You've got to come to my gymnastics class. Huh? Oh. You teach gymnastics? I want to come too. Me too. Really? Do you know how strong your arms have to be to do gymnastics? Imagine how far a guy could throw a newspaper. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. See you at the community center tomorrow for an introduction to the class. Three o'clock. See ya. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I bet we'll be tumbling in no time. Oh. Cool. Look at all this gym equipment. <laughs> all right. uh -huh. But before you can tumble. You have to stretch. Stretching is one of the three S's of gymnastics. Ow! Stretching, S number one. <laughs> and stretch, and stretch. Tricky, too. Oops. Find a spot to focus on. If you stare at something still, huh? <laughs> it helps you be still, too. <laughs> Go ahead. Give it a try. <laughs> ah, the rings take a lot of strength. We'll work our way up to it. Hey, you can practice with a bench until your back, arms, and chest are strong enough to pull you up. time to talk about our other two S's. Safety and supervision. You should always have someone spotting you. <laughs> 